when you want to influence someone, should you use arguments or should you use questions? There is an interesting research on the topic. Whenever you try to use arguments, the acceptance rate by the other party, 24%. When you use questions, the acceptance rate, 42%. This was already discovered by Blaise Pascal in the 17th century, when he said that people are usually more convinced by reason that they discover themselves rather than those discovered by others. My name is Giuseppe Conti, I'm a business school professor and the founder of Conti Advanced Business Learning, a company that specializes in negotiation and influencing. Now that we know some more about the importance of questions in order to influence and negotiate effectively, let me share with you three techniques that can help you to make better questions. The first one, prepare your questions in advance because when you have the time to prepare them as part of your preparation, then you will end up making better questions. For instance, you may want to link them with your objectives. Do you want to discover the interest of the other party or do you want to validate one of your hypotheses? Then you can take this into account to make a better question. Second idea, learn to balance open-ended question with closed question. Most of the times, you want to use open-ended questions because they help you to gather more information. And the most effective open-ended question starts with how and with what. Now, also the why questions are very useful and very powerful because they help you to go more in-depth into what is really important for the other party, their interests and priorities. The challenge is that the why question makes people defensive. So how can you deal with this? Well, I suggest you to replace the why question with a question starting with how or what. So rather than asking to your counterpart, why do you want to three years contract? You can say, what is behind this request for a three years contract? And this is likely to get less resistance. The third idea, ask probing questions. The probing question are the questions that go more into details. Too often, when I observe people negotiating, then I see that people tend to ask one open-ended question on one topic, then another open-ended question, then another open-ended question, without going in depth. While the right approach is indeed, you know, using a final approach, you ask more detailed, more specific question where you get to the information that is more relevant and they give you more insight into what's important into the meeting. For more insights on negotiation and influencing, check our website, www.cabl.ch. Thank you.